Okay, of course, you know who we have in the house today. Oh, Maomi. Are you Migo? Are you Migo? Are you the Migo side? No, no, no. I'm not, but that area, for you to. Migo literally means I'm kneeling. Okay. So you can't say that to So, how do I greet you? Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Or Afana. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> I like the good afternoon. I'm going to start with something. You hosted the Hip Hop Awards last year, yes. or the Headies, mm -hmm. and you had a bet with MI that yeah. you're not going to speak Pigeon English okay. until the end of the show, yes. and you ended up losing because you spoke it at several points, and at the point you just gave up. Yeah. Is it really a problem for you to speak <laughs> English? No, seriously. Initially, it wasn't because it, it, I, 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 in fact, I was running away from English. So I, I figured that, you know, it, it's different because everybody speaks English. So I just wanted to be, you know, hood, especially when that's our selling point where we come from in, in Warriors in Niger Delta, you know. So I just figured that I should just be like that, you know, it would be different. But eventually it helped me because there's sometimes when I would just hook and then what's better to fall back to? <laughs> so, I mean, you speak very good English. I, I try to. And I know that sometimes I'm like, okay, is it really a problem or... No, it's Did not. you really hook true true? I did. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we've spoken like about it. <laughs> a little bit of both. I hook sometimes, but if if I were not allowed to speak pidgin English, I'd skillfully just get away from it. Because of course it's not my language, hey. But I try to speak English every now and then. You know no. Mm-hmm. Another pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> now let's start from sort of the beginning of a music career. Yeah. On idols. Mm -hmm. Your performance of Equi. Mm-hmm. It's something that I think every Nigerian who watched that particular show at that point mm. knew you were going to be a star. Ooh. Do you, do you, is it a burden for you? Do you enjoy the fact that Ekwe was such an iconic moment for you? Do you think you're going to ever live it down? No. Or you enjoy the fact that you did I that so well? I enjoyed the fact that I did. And the funny part of that is that I wasn't supposed to do that song. I was supposed to do Rex, Law Rex Lawson's um, song and then Anateme. And then uh, Mercy, who was, um, it was top seven, I think, yeah. she was supposed to do Ekwe. But because I wanted the song and she had already chosen it, I couldn't take it. So fortunately for me and unfortunately for her, <laughs> <laughs> she was a victim. Well, that way she was a victim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I went to meet her and the, the organizers and begged them, now, please, can I take the song? And they said yes. So that was it. And it was, it was a beautiful moment for me because it just entered, you know. It was I, a, just, I remember watching it and I, till now, I, I even have goosebumps just talking I about know, it. Right? It was a great moment. Have you, how's your relationship with Onye Kaunwenu? No, fantastic. Did she love it? She did. She does. She's the kind of person, she's just, she's, as her name implies, or rather as her uh, uh, Nick, yeah. her title. Her, her title, the, the elegant, elegant style. Yeah. Oh, the woman is elegant and she's so prayerful and quite humble you know she's uh, there was a time i was ill i went to her office she said no 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 don't come down dashes me her clothes you know she wears ankara too so every time i just see when i say my mommy pass down i got a helmet when you see me on stage you would know that is my mommy that gave me something to wear <laughs> so i have a fantastic relationship with her she's 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 a mother in the industry to me she's a blessing you know we did the centenary 100 years yes, um, yes. centenary song together and she was so helpful. She made sure that, you know, everything that I wanted was available to me. Very interesting. Okay, before this music thing now, yes, there's a sir. picture that surfaced sometime online that. with you tending at a bar or something. Yeah, I, I what, do that a lot. Were you like a... Before what was the story before idols? idols? Were you a, a Are waitress? You serious? It, was even, it was even after that okay. that I took that photo. No! I studied law like you, <laughs> but I used to have, my mom had um, a glorified beer parlor in Wari, okay. where we used to make Nkwa Bianisewa, and I used to help out. In fact, I was the one who used to make the Nkwa Bianisewa. Yeah, you know I cook. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. So, okay. you know, so I've always been, there was one day like that, because usually I go and, you know, tend to my mom's shop. There was one morning like that, one guy now stopped in front of my mom's shop as I was sweeping. Hello. I said, hello, good afternoon. He said, my name is John. I'm a driver. In Shell, and I like you. <laughs> I said, Thank you, sir. God bless you. But don't you think it's too early? You know, <laughs> you know? so everybody has their vocation. I've done, I, there's nothing I can't do. I've, I've had my bath in convertible bedroom before. That's all the type of bathroom that we have. Zik, yo! <laughs> so it doesn't really mean anything to me. Interesting. So is the bar still there or it's closed down? Money uh, don't do now, so. 
No, but the thing is, my mom, my sister took it over, but okay, my sister okay. now does, my sister has gone into catering. Okay, proper, for real, so it's more like proper, a... yes. And then we've now moved to um, wholesale of, you know, um, drinks and things like that, yeah. Do you still cook? Is it a passion? Is it something you just do for fun? I use it to unwind a lot. I, in fact, yesterday I made special fried rice with turkey. Um, this morning I made jollof rice and moi moi wrapped. And that's how I unwind. As in, I can just send people to the market. Like Waja's mom now, her birthday last year, was it this year? I made onubu, jollof rice. You know, that's the sort of thing. I just use it to unwind. If I'm stressed, like my concert is coming up on the seventh, so when I need to lose it up, I'll just enter the kitchen. Oh yeah, bring that. Please don't unwind it so that I can, uh, <laughs> I can stroll by no, 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 <laughs> and no, no. taste. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm, I unwind like that. So your, your past, you're never, it's not something you're ashamed of. It's not something no, you hide not away at all. from. And my past isn't so. I grew up in a middle class family. Okay, don't worry. Okay. Uh, but aside from that, um, there were points where I lost my dad when I was in 400 level, and there were points where the cash flow wasn't coming as it should. But that is not what makes me who I am. And then, it, it, as long as I had a roof over my head, I had other ones who used to support me, help me out. And then at least I see three square meals, the chop, small, small money. I'm okay. Yeah, very important. Mm. Now, I want to go back to your idols very quickly. Mom, when you came second yeah. on idols, be very honest. Yes. Were you happy that you lost to Timmy? It was, a, it was a feeling. It was that moment. Yes. As at that moment in time, there were two things that were happening in my mind. The first one was relief that it was all over. Because as at that end, that point, the animosity had grown. Everybody was on their toes. Some people were forming camp with A. Some people were forming camp with B. And then the person who you realize is your friend suddenly becomes a stranger because you people are struggling for. So I was relieved, you know, as at that point. And then secondly, if anybody would have, I would have wanted anybody to win if I were not in the competition. That's the honest truth. If I were not in the competition, Timmy Dakolo would have been my... Uh, Favorite. Timmy Dakolo, Eric, Jody, finish. I would have just sat down there. When Timmy come with that voice, they'd be like, ha, <laughs> <laughs> ah, you know now. So it, aside from the fact that we're in a competition, I knew that I had to, you know, bring my ex best foot forward to make sure that I get to the point where people notice me. But when it comes to vocals and performances, you can't take it away from Timmy. Or well, pain is small. Small. Small because the money. money plenty. No, how much? I don't have <laughs> plenty. It's no pl it's plenty, <laughs> but I don't already they gather around the court. I said they see me for TV and they do for me. I bring the money. <laughs> okay, let me wait for my idol. Yeah, now. please. You um, you had the first album, Wonder Woman. Yes, I did. Are you are you a feminist? Yes, I am. Why? I'm not that much. I think feminism is too strong a word. I think that I'm very concerned about the woman. I feel that for me to be in this position as an artist, I should be able to make meaningful music or do something meaningful for my fellow women. And you know, if if I don't do it, we're so we're not we're not there are not many of us. So who who would actually come and do these things? And then you need to hear some nasty stories. Oh, Ibuka. Yeah, the single that was playing before we came on. Yes, it, ha it actually happened. It does happen every day. You know, so if nobody's going to talk about it, I will. It so wasn't a personal experience? No, it wasn't. I would kill the person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let nobody try that. So with that. Okay, so from Wonder Woman to Lasso of, of Truth. Truth. Yes. I was at a gathering the other day and yeah. people were trying to understand what does Lasso, lasso mean? mean? What is Lasso of Do Truth? You know, eh, before we get into the album, where did that name come from? The thing is, I, I've had the name since because uh, you know Wonder Woman and then the Lasso of Truth. The, the Lasso of Truth is like the golden lasso. You know that rope where they take the cash cow in those days. <laughs> with cowboy okay, in their okay, okay. That's a lasso. Yes. So the Lasso of Truth. She, the Wonder Woman, um, that's Princess Diana. She used to have this rope. When she cash you with the rope, the rope will come turn to gold. If you ask a question, you must talk true. <laughs> so that was the thing with that. So if, she, 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 if you look at her in the photo, you see she always had the golden lasso. So people used to call it the lasso of truth or the golden lasso. It's impenetrable. It was made in the fires of Olympia. You know, it has this Greek mythology, something wrapped around it. Um, I had the idea to call it the lasso since when I started working on my second album, like as far back as two and a half years ago. But I was afraid because I knew that people were going to keep asking. I wanted to just keep it simple. Wonder Woman Volume 2 mm -hmm. or something. Or mommy returns. Yeah. <laughs> but then look at it this way. 
Everything I've done, always they always ask questions. What's the meaning of Botambele? What did you mean by when you said if you ask me? What is the meaning of Kokuma? I stand by. What is it? So you people have already started asking me questions. What did you mean by? Why? So with this one, all I'm just trying to say is everything, every song has an atom of truth in it. And everybody can relate to one story or the other in my album. Hence, Lasso of Truth. I know book like that. <laughs> <laughs> How, how has the reception of the album been so far? How do you think people have received it? Well, it's, um, it's trickling in, but you will know that the responses are genuine. Okay. It's, it's, it's really helpful to know that my fans, the people who love my music, they know it word for word. And everybody has, it's like the kind of album, like a Two-Faced Idea album where everybody knows all the songs. You know, like a like whiskey album. Yeah, I get it. So you're getting there. <laughs> you know, so everybody has their favorite song, and that's what just makes me happy. How many songs are on the album? It's a 12-track album. 12 and then Kami is inside too. Oh, who's Kami? Camila is my daughter. Oh, your daughter. How old is she? Does she's, she sing already? She's going to be two in June. She said, Go, ma, I stand by. I did be see. Go, ga. Oh, my miss, baby. Does she know the song is about her? Yeah, she, she does. If she, she knows me. She sees me on TV. She say, Mama, see Mama. I say, yes, it's me. <laughs> she say, Mama, what is that thing? I say, it's dress. I'm dancing. Yeah. So she, she's just an understanding child. She's very loving. Let's talk a bit about your baby now. Yeah, daughter. Your daughter. Yeah. Sorry, she's a big girl. I now. don't know why people keep every <laughs> people do I see if I give her to her two months. How is the baby? And some don't know whether it's a girl or a boy. Yeah, so they don't want to <laughs> they are supposed to know. So they don't I want say, to put themselves in trouble. My, you mean my daughter, she's fine. Yeah, well, talk about Did you her. at any point mm. think of not keeping her? No. Why not? Because you were not married, were you not scared of being judged? She was more important than everything and everybody else. I had this blind conviction that nobody could talk me out of. Oh, people talk me out of it. Are you silly? Are you stupid? Would you, why would you go and do that sort of thing when your career is at its peak? I said, let the career fall. I will back my daughter and say tomatoes. That's my mentality because she is more important to me. Her life was more important to me. I prayed to God and I made sure that I was, I don't know if I was doing the right thing, but there was no way that I would have. I'm, come on. 30 years. What am I doing? If the man decides to come and say, oh, let's marry, we bless God. If he does not come, I will not say I want to go and now start removing child at this old age. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, um, people always say, okay, they are scared of women who are single parents or single mothers. It's not, I didn't you are come, not one of those who were... No, I didn't come with that intention to be a single parent. However, now that I found myself in this position, I'm going to enjoy it and walk in a stride until when God will bring the man that will come and, you know, have you, since you've had her, have, has your relationship life changed? You're dating. Do, you, do men get scared away like, okay, ah, I don't want big be matter? Well, can we not talk about that, please? Yes, we can. Not talk about it. Yes, we can talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> it's a little different now, right? Men are not, little threatened. Not, listen, listen, we're not talking about it. <laughs> and that's that. <laughs> Because I don't really like to talk about my relationship status. So. Now, I didn't ask you if you're dating anybody. I just said, has the dating life changed because of the girl? So how would you know if I were not in the same relationship with her father all this while? Okay, you're still dating him. Though. Well, that's why I told you I don't want to talk about it. I'm going to leave you to decide how much you want from that. <laughs> Okay, your album, you're having an album launch. Yeah, it's not an album launch, a concert. A concert. The album is already out, actually. Yes. Yeah, so uh, what is this concert about? Who's going to be on... Oh, my what should we expect? It's going to be fantastic. At least I hope so. I created, <clears throat> I am with my, the help of my band and the music director. We wanted to bring somebody on board, but I wanted to, because I, I do this on the side as well. So I wanted to see, you know, how we could. So we, we put up a lot of theatricals, but at the same time, we made it seriously very musical. I can guarantee you that every emotion that is available to you will be brought out. You will laugh. You will laugh until you cry. <laughs> Great. So you can laugh, you can cry because you're laughing. Or there will come a point where you will also cry too. Or you feel like, oh. You know, so every emotion that can be brought out of a human being will be displayed at my show. That's Great. what I can guarantee you. On the 7th of April? On the 7th of April. Venue? Venue is Oriental Hotels. They are biggest hall. Yeah, but people when I said Oriental, they're like, it's so small. No! He's yeah, big! Yeah, I had to have a new hall. Oh, and massive. I'm going to be the first artist to use it. Right. And, and also, the, also the first, I think the first female who's going to be doing the concert on this scale. Are yeah. you worried about the pressure? Um, I always, in my deepest, Jesus take the wheel. Except when I want to greet people, happy birthday or happy Easter. 
I've decided to, initially I was worried, I used to walk around with, you know, I was so stressed. But now I've decided to just allow Jesus to take the wheel. Because I know that if I tell God that God, may your name be glorified, make it be that it is you that is being glorified. And that's it. So it's going to be healthy. No nakedness. <laughs> no nakedness, that's what she said. <laughs> so it's going to be child friendly, basically, to some extent. To some extent. That's why they said 18 plus. Okay. 7th of April, mm -hmm. Lasso of Truth. Okay. Lasso of um, Truth at Oriental, Oriental Hotel. Hotels. Okay. It's gonna, Two Face is going to be there. Okay. Whiskey, Donyo Kouweno, okay. Tiwa Savage, Shei Shei, Waje, my sister, Mercy, the winner of Nigerian Idols last year, Flavor, Timaya. It's going to be a star-studded event. Great. With big, big people. We're going to be there. At least I'm going to be there. You I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I never buy tickets. You go give me tickets before we...